Coach, after a couple of tough losses this week, how'd you uh, feel your way, your team uh, responded this evening? Well, I mean, considering all the circumstances, I mean, that's uh, an outstanding win for us. I mean, great character and the guys sticking together and finding a way, and that's what we told ourselves. There's, there's always a way. And, uh, you know, you change the looks of some things. You change uh, some lines and some pairings and some matchups. And, uh, yeah, and I think uh, the players really bought into what we were trying to do. We wanted to be very disciplined um, in our game plan, and uh, we were. Um, yeah, and I, and I really like the fact that a 1-1, uh, you know, we didn't we didn't make our usual uh, push for it, and and we're smart about it, and then we ended up getting it. So it was a very mature win, and you know you could see we were catching up on the shots as the game went on. And uh, at first, obviously in the first, they got some power plays and got a lot of shots, and so yeah, and and it could have been very frustrating for us. Uh, because, you know, we had a terrific first power play, didn't put it in. Uh, and after that, the other power plays, it was tougher. We got in, but then we gave it away and we had trouble managing it there. Uh, but kept focus. And the, the, fun, the funny thing is, is that we had a, I had a weird feeling uh, this morning. We're supposed to practice five on four. And I don't know, I just, so we practiced five on three and four on three. And uh, the boys executed perfectly, so it was good. It, uh, on the board is one thing, but you're able to practice it and really get the reps. It makes a big difference. And the guys worked hard at it this morning, and they ended up paying off tonight. So one of those uh, good lucky days. You mentioned c catching up in the shots and not when it, when it gets to 1-1. One, one, that we didn't see what happened on Tuesday and Thursday happen again. Yeah. Uh, or what was was there communication on the bench after that? The second goal was taken back and just. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's 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 that that point is exactly the moment that our teams had trouble. That m maturity they were trying to gain is to okay, something doesn't go our way. Well, fine, we got lots of time to to make it go our way and not to get out of whack and run around and just trying to get that goal at all costs right away. And uh, yeah, that's what I really like about this game. There's a lot of maturity from our players and the young guys. And uh, it was tough for you know they they basically didn't play much their fourth line, so it was tough. We had to go with three lines the whole game. I needed to had to keep the matchups for sure. Uh, we asked Zingle to play against Crosby the whole game, you know, and uh, that, that's not usually what he's asked to do. So he did that and gets the winning goal. So we gave him the player of the game for us. Uh, made a big difference because he's got the speed to be able to keep up. And, uh, and he did it the whole game and, uh, and ends up getting the winner. So uh, really good story. Uh, the two big uh, bodies that you're missing up front, uh, but especially Duchesne, what does that say about the way Colin White steps in and the added responsibility, especially a team with the centers that they have. Over oh, there. for sure. And and I mean, the, you know, we keep talking about the young guys, but here's there's a guy in there that's, that's game in game out has been doing the job is Tierney, and you know he just under the radar, and uh, and you look tonight he was terrific. I mean, penalty kill. He's been since we've had him double shift in a penalty kill. We had to take him out of the power play for a while. Uh, it's made a big difference for us. Obviously, Smitty coming back and all that. We've changed the way we, we some things on a penalty kill, but it was mainly because of our personnel too. Uh, and the players have responded extremely well. So again tonight, another game where you know for the last it's a long stretch now of games where penalty kills really good. Uh, so that's good adjustment. But uh, a lot of it's on personnel, and uh, obviously Stoner's got you know uh, something to say in that penalty kill. Uh, but I think Tierney is a huge part and one of those guys that kind of does everything right. And uh, again tonight was able to take on some some important minutes and and give us uh, and give us exactly what you're saying. And when you're missing a, a top center, you got to compensate. You can't replace center. So it's just I think those guys had to uh, give us more, and they did. Peut-être glisser un mot sur le jeu de puissance qu'il fallait essayer beaucoup de nouvelles combinaisons avec l'absence de Ryan Duchesne. Finalement, vous allez chercher le but gagnant en prolongation. Euh, Peut-être un, un mot sur l'évolution du travail du jeu de puissance des unités spéciales. Oui, bien écoute, le premier, je l'ai adoré. Là, on, était, on était partout. C'est parce qu'on a gagné la mise au jeu. Fait qu'à la place de revenir dans notre zone, de rentrer, on savait, ça c'est difficile de rentrer dans leur zone. Euh, on le savait. On a réussi à rentrer, mais on, après ça, on a donné la rondelle à l'adversaire à trop d'occasions. Euh, mais euh, je pense que oui, on est obligé de faire des changements. Au dernier match, la même chose. On a scoré avec le changement qu'on a fait. Puis euh, aujourd'hui, ben on a encore fait d'autres changements. Puis on a, on a fini par marquer le but en avantage numérique. Mais tu sais, le gars comme Batterson, ce soir, j'ai un super match. Je l'ai beaucoup aimé. Euh, à 5 contre 5, il a remplacé finalement euh, euh, Ryan sur la ligne à, à Tierney puis Bakker. Puis ça a été une super ligne. Euh, puis en avantage numérique, il était, il était exceptionnel aussi. Tu sais, il y a plusieurs belles histoires à travers ça. Puis c'est pas juste un remplacement par un gars. Là. On a vraiment changé les, les, les rôles. Fait que j'ai beaucoup aimé la, la chimie de tout le monde. 
Thomas Chabot qui avait eu deux rencontres difficiles contre oui. Montréal ce soir, connaît un bon match, euh, récolte des points sur les deux buts euh, de oui. notre équipe. Peut-être que c'est un ben, écoute, on, on s'est parlé justement euh, aujourd'hui. Puis, euh, tu sais, je pense que les gens, ils, c'est dur de, 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 de comprendre puis d'apprécier toute la pression qu'il y a sur un individu. Tu sais, même quelqu'un qui est vieux, au bout de 10 ans, là, quand tu, tu joues contre Montréal, puis il euh, y a tellement de médias. Puis, je le sais, moi, je suis du Québec. Mais un gars du Québec, ben et au Québec, c'est gros, fait que là, on en met, puis à un moment donné, mais ça devient très, très lourd. Fait que là, le jeune, lui, c'est un gars très calme, très mature, mais c'est un jeune qui, qui est obligé de gérer tout ça, là. c'est très tôt pour lui. Fait que tous les matchs contre Montréal, l'année passée, au, dans le cas d'entraînement, durant l'année, ça a été des matchs beaucoup plus difficiles pour lui que, que les autres. Parce que, consciemment ou inconsciemment, c'est beaucoup de, c'est beaucoup de, de poids sur lui. Alors, on va essayer de s'organiser pour le prochain match. Là. Il y avait un microphone, même en plus, pendant le match. Ça, il y a plein de choses qui rentrent en ligne de compte. Fait qu'on va essayer de gérer ça un petit peu mieux pour lui, pour l'aider à gérer ça mieux la prochaine fois qu'on joue contre Montréal. Il y avait aussi un Maxime Lajoie qui faisait un retour dans oui. l'alignement. Qu'est-ce que vous avez pensé? Ben, c'est parce que Maxime, c'est un de nos meilleurs pour gérer la rondelle. Puis on a eu la difficulté à gérer la rondelle les deux derniers matchs. C'est, c'est, on a donné des, des, des cadeaux à l'adversaire. Les deux matchs contre Montréal, là, on, il y a quatre buts qu'on a donnés à l'adversaire. Avec, ça tue. Fait qu'un gars comme Lajoie, je pense qu'on on avait besoin pour notre transition, pour euh, notre intelligence dans le jeu, sortir la rondelle. T'sais, il n'en pas partout, lui. C'est, c'est sa palette. Alors, très intelligent. Well, we changed some things, but the personnel changed. Uh, we've uh, we've taken away uh, some of the load on our defensemen, so we changed our penalty kill to put more load on our forwards because we have more depth with the forwards. I mean, obviously, not thinking that we were going to lose uh, uh, top end guys like that, but we had more more depth there, more experience with, with some of the forwards. Uh, and on defense, it was it was a lot. The way we were playing was asking a lot of our defensemen, and so we changed a little bit, uh, hold our defensemen in a bit more, uh, a lot more push down our forwards and, uh, and 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 more pressure by our forwards because they're able to recuperate more uh, than our D's were uh, and so yeah it's 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 uh, hey, that's what it is when you got a new team with so many new players whether they're young guys or guys from outside by the time you figure it out sometimes it's a little further down and that's exactly what happened we figured out what we needed to do for our penalty kill and we just hope it continues Uh, it's a mix of both. I think everybody, whether it's players or staff, coaches, yeah. When you're behind the bench, there's so many things that that happen that you guys don't hear. A lot of stuff you don't want to hear, uh, but <laughs> you hear some of it. Uh, you know, it's a very competitive environment, an emotional environment, and uh, testosterone-driven. Uh, and yeah, there's a lot of things done and said out there, but at, in the end, you want to win the game, you want to keep your focus. We felt as a group, we talked about that today, that against Montreal, we lost. We lost some of our cool in some moments, and I feel it got to us a little bit. And they got they have those types of players to do so, and we kind of fell into that a little bit. Whereas today, uh, whenever things were happening, we, we really uh, dealt with it much better, with a much better focus. Yes. Yes, oh, your your question. No, no, I, he I, stole I, your question. You stole his question. Yeah, that's exactly what happened there. But we were having, you know, we we had him on both sides rolling down, and on the other side on this one timer. He's a terrific power play player. Like before that, it's because we had him inside, less pressure for young guys, just like White and Kachuk. Uh, you know, my experience is when you put those young guys on the outside and stuff and they got to control things, sometimes it's a lot of pressure. So you start them inside and then they get some points, they get accustomed to it, they know how you play and then slowly you're able to give them a bit more on the outsides. But I think right now it's because obviously he's got enough games and Bobby's missing and Duchesne's missing. So he's the perfect guy for us to fit in that slot. All support. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>